Hello, everyone. Welcome to the platform of Career Kitchen. Today, we have Mr. Kina Das. He is a software developer at Lulus. He is residing at uh, California. So, hello. Uh, welcome to Career Kitchen. First of all, uh, tell me something about yourself and your career journey. Uh, well, you already know my full name is Pinak Das. I am a software developer. I have been working for last three years with Lulu's Fashion Launch. It's an online uh, apparel company. Um, I graduated uh, from the California State University with computer science uh, and masters. Uh, I am actually from Agartala. Uh, I graduated my high school back in 2008, long time ago. And then I did my VTech in IT from VIT University. Uh, then I worked in Hyderabad with Improved Technologies for two years. And basically I was not happy with the way my career was going. So I decided to do masters and came to USA. And uh, so far everything has been really well. Yeah. Thank you. So what is your view on our Indian education system? Uh, yeah, it's a broad, uh, you know, situation. Actually, you know, I, I, I believe that uh, the education system has changed a lot, but uh, still I feel that uh, in India, our education system is more like theoretical based and uh, it's not up to date with how industry is working, I feel. That may not be true for every college or uh, school, but overall in general, what I've seen is that uh, our education system lacks uh, the practical based uh, teachings. As a result, you know, students after graduating, they struggle a lot to find a job because they have to learn everything on their own again. After spending four years or three years in college, then they come out of college and then they decide for uh, you know a different career, maybe government job or let's say you know a technical field. They have to learn all those things all over again. Uh, so it's a waste of time, you know. And uh, yeah, that's what that's how our education system fails all the students. According to you, which is the right way to choose a career? I think that the career, the the whole uh, education system has to be, you know, revamped, changed into, you know, more westernized way. Well, uh, last year I have heard that that's going to be the change in next like ten years or so. But uh, I feel that still uh, there are a lot of problems in our education system unless you study in a in a, uh, in a big college or in a popular school, private school, uh, you may not, may not get the right, right kind of education system. First of all, the main problem that I feel is that uh, students are not guided from childhood, you know, what they want to do and what, the, what they, which career path they want to go. They, everyone is taught in the same way and everyone is given the same kind of lectures and uh, you know, materials and uh, it's a hard mentality that uh, all students have to go in a similar path and they have to you know uh, choose a career which is most popular and uh, i believe that students you know get lost uh, what they want to do and just follow what others are doing and uh, yeah like i already mentioned that's practical based uh, knowledge is also lacking uh, and i have seen in uh, like big colleges as well in agartala i've seen this in nit uh, agmc or whatever like students like suffer a lot they, they they have to learn after they join a company or you know hospital their profession most of the things i feel that if somewhat they can get some kind of you know training uh, under uh, a professional who is working in the industry, then student will be benefited a lot. So yeah, I hope uh, my answer was clear. So you have talked about practical knowledge. So how do you think a student can get it through education? 
sorry you asked a question you talked about practical knowledge so how a student can get practical knowledge through, throughout their education oh, okay uh, so the easiest way is when they are studying they can consult a professional in that industry in whichever industry they want to you know go in the direction and get the career advice uh, so let's say if someone wants to go in software development it field they can consult a engineer or developer and uh, you know plan accordingly like what they have gone through and what are the things that help them to succeed in that field you know i think that will reduce the amount of time a, a student requires to you know succeed in a particular field i would say they can immediately uh, start their career uh, after graduating and they, yeah it will be a lot more easier if they you know uh, they are in touch with a professional who are already successful you know that particular field yeah. so what is your opinion on career counseling students what's my view on career counseling, career counseling. yes and how much important is it for uh, our for students oh yeah i i can't stress enough the importance of career counseling um, i believe that uh, students who are like in class 8 or 9th that's the ideal time to try different kind of things uh, even if they are not trying at least explore what are the things are available and uh, talk to a career counselor or you know we can who can you know elaborate and uh, give examples of uh, what can happen if someone chooses this field or not uh, this kind of things are not available in our school uh, in most schools actually so it's highly important that uh, someone consults a career counselor at their earlier stage so career teacher is a wonderful platform uh, according to me i have gone through their product uh, it's really helpful for everyone who is struggling to decide what they want to do and they are they are, they are very serious about their career they just don't want to follow the herd and you know choose a field which they are not good at or you know they do not enjoy so in this situation career, career teacher will help you immensely they have excellent career counselors who are very successful in their field and they have ample knowledge about uh, every industry so they can help you with uh, whatever field you want to go in and they they are very supportive to you know without passing any jud judgment i think they they are like ideal counselors who can help you choose the right field and be successful so the next question is how do students plan to study abroad so as you were working in abroad how do students plan to study in abroad and second world well i i am um, aware of usa so i can say that if they are they want to do undergraduate in usa uh, they should plan from like class 10th or 11th you know and choose universities and they have to write an exam called sat it's kind of joint equivalent uh, of india and they have to write that so they they should prepare for at least 2 3 years uh, along with their uh, 12th board and choose colleges beforehand only and apply them and they also have to write the english exam which is common for everyone uh, uh, that can be ielts and or toefl if they want to do uh, someone wants to do masters here then they have to write gre and uh, yeah, if they want to do mba then gmat uh, so yeah so next is a rapid fire round so the first question is uh, which is your favorite place favorite place um yeah i, I love san francisco basically uh, it's a uh, multicultural you know hub people from different countries are coming here i won't say san francisco i would say bay area in general um bay area is like multiple cities coming together considered uh, as a one whole city so san francisco is like one of the cities and i love bay area because uh, 
people from all over the world they are coming there for you know different professions and uh, you will get all kinds of experience from cultural to food and whatever so it's a really awesome place to be and uh, yeah it's is beautiful also there are a lot of tourist spots so, yeah right now i'm enjoying our bay area a lot practical knowledge of theoretical knowledge which one do you prefer yeah i i prefer practical knowledge and uh, you know the, to give an example um i feel that after coming to usa uh, whatever i have learned in last not last uh, when i was doing my masters whatever i learned in two years uh, i could not learn in my four years of college and also two years of experience in wipro and uh, that's because uh, all the curriculums were uh, more practical based so 60% practical 40% theoretical i mean theory is needed to understand some concept but you need to apply those as well uh, otherwise you won't get the practice uh, to you know really grasp the concepts so what is the best career decision follow friends or career counselor i i definitely would uh, prefer career counselor uh, i have made the mistake of following my friends and that took a long time for me to decide which direction i want to go and uh, yeah i think uh, time will be hugely reduced if someone follows a career counselor and uh, you know consults them and decide what they want to do instead of following their friends and whatever family suggests because they also don't know exactly what is right for you not everyone is you know is perfect for engineering and medical there are so many fields that people are not exploring so in this kind of situation career counselor can help a lot so work from home office or work from home which one do you prefer um uh, well i have been working from home for last one year because of it i get the you know flexibility of working from home and i'm kind of like got bored of it so i i would like to go back to office now because that's how you know i feel that uh, i'm most productive which sports do you love uh, cricket or football uh right now euros is going on so i am like lot of soccer i mean football yeah and i feel that uh, if someone tells me to play either of these two games i would be better in playing soccer because cricket is a lot more you know you need a lot more skills i think i mean probably you definitely need skills but still you can run you can at least defend <laughs> cricket if you don't practice for a couple of years uh, yeah you will forget completely last i played in college uh, if i remember in peter so it's been like at least 10, 10 years now that i've last played football so i would choose uh, football right now so this is the end of our question session so i would like to ask you if you want to give an advice to the students of the world who are on our watching this video uh, my suggestion yeah any advice or suggestion you want to give to our viewers yeah explore a lot of things there are a uh, lot of other fields i mean that has situation may have changed on back in 2008 when i was in agartala students would either choose for medical or engineering and that was pretty much decided by our parents and friends in you know, society so i would say explore uh, because of internet now there are ample amount of scope available you can uh, learn about in particular field and you also have to understand like whether that field can be converted into a career or not you know you you just can't choose a random field that you see there is no scope you know so you have to uh, spend some time go through different kinds of options speak to your career advisor counselor uh, if there is anyone a professional working in a industry that you want to go in talk to them and uh, yeah i mean play your cards you know well whatever cards you have given um, not necessarily everyone has to be super intelligent to be successful i believe 
I am a mediocre student, but I, I right now I am very much successful in my field because I have planned my career properly, uh, chose the things which I am good at. So that really helps. And you have to be very consistent. You, uh, it's not just about getting a job. Uh, it's about, you know, being uh, constantly learning new stuff in your field. So learning has to be a lifelong process and you have to just enjoy it. Don't just worry about reaching the end goal. You have to enjoy the journey that what will, that's what will make you, you know, happy and successful in life. Yeah. I enjoyed uh, speaking to you and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for helping all the kids in our state and wish you best of luck.